Hello, and as promised, this is a uh, vlog where I'm going to be talking through all the exciting uh, application work I'm going to be doing for E. Ruflada Gimraig. Sorry again to any Welsh speakers for absolutely butchering that pronunciation again. By the end of this summer, I will have actually figured out how to pronounce this project that uh, we're applying funding for. So, uh, the really exciting news that's happened in the last week is that Theon has sent me through a lovely little Google Doc which includes uh, everything that we've managed to done on the uh, application up until this point. Um, we've been working on this very, very slowly over the course of several months, and that's been really good because that's allowed us to learn different things about the project. Um, it's allowed us to think about things that maybe we should have thought of earlier, but then realised throughout the application, oh yeah, we actually need to think about this. Um, and we've just taken our time with it. Um, this is an Arts Council Wales uh, open project grant equivalent uh, form, and therefore, it is a lot of work and it is very hard. And I think the biggest uh, recommendation that I can give as someone who is in the midst of doing this is don't put loads of pressure on yourself to get it done over the course of a week or two weeks or even a month. You know, these things take time. And a lot of the time, if you put in the time to actually going through the form, checking the mistakes, going through several drafts, um, as reference in the Money Talks episode we just did with uh, uh, Biasha, but also the one we did with Sarah Rose, talking to people about it, talking about what you can improve, it makes it so much easier to feel confident in the form that you're sending off. Um, the other thing worth mentioning is that with these applications, so much is about the storytelling. It's about saying why you should give uh, us money for this project. And because of that, we are actually, as Island Life Productions, not applying for this fund. Uh, Fionn is, because Fionn is Welsh, which feels like quite an important thing if it's an Arts Council Wales project that we're going for. Um, it's a Welsh language project. All of the sort of networks involved are all networks that are already in Fionn's world. So it makes a lot of sense rather than kind of bringing everything in house to go, well, let's write you, let's help you to write the individual version of this form, which is precisely um, what, what we've been doing. Um, and so if you look at the Google Doc, because I think I'll probably record a separate little bit that uh, has me scrolling through bits and pieces of the form, a lot of it will be written as uh, I or me in reference to Fionn, that's because Fionn is technically the applicant. But obviously as a partner organisation, as someone who believes in supporting emerging artists, we are doing everything possible to help Fionn make this application the best application it can be. Which is what uh, me and her um, down south are now going to spend quite a lot of time working towards. The aim is to have it out by the end of the month. Um, that's the kind of big fingers crossed thing that uh, we're working towards. But ultimately, at the end of the day, we want to get this done right. And therefore, if we need to take all the way till August to make sure we're really happy with the application we're submitting, then that's exactly what we're going to do. Um, yeah. Overall headline message, take your time. Uh, build the fund and the application the way that makes you feel comfortable. And don't rush yourself because rushing into things like this never really got anybody anywhere. Um, that's all from me. See you next time.